This is one of three properties. Now this one is basically right next to the Francis Marion National Forest, uh, just off 402 here in Cordsville. They're trying to improve service, uh, a mobile service as well as a wireless internet service in these more rural communities. We love it. My wife and I, we bought a house in Rice Hope Plantation right on the other side of Sawmill over here about a year ago, a year and a month. Derek Schroeder says it's great, but there are some technology issues. The drawbacks, um, the best internet we can get out here is five megabytes. And that's with home telecom who just drove by. It works. I mean, we make work with it. Don't expect much, but you know, nowadays everything is streaming TV and you know, it kind of could use some improvements. That's why a 250 foot wireless tower is being proposed just down the street from the post office off Highway 402 in Cordsville. Another one would be built off Highway 6 toward Cross near Lake Moultrie, the third in Cross. Derek tells me not having phone service can be dangerous. I know it was, there was that drowning that happened off of uh, the Strawberry Hill Chapel. And I know a lot of those kids, they couldn't get help for a while because they didn't have service right away. So The Zoning Board of Appeals is hearing a request for variance to allow the towers to be built several feet closer to nearby homes that are located on the property where the towers will be built. The request says the towers will be built with trees surrounding them. Um, I'm sure a lot of people out here would be a lot happier with more service on their phones. Now the Board of Zoning Appeals meeting begins at 6 o'clock tonight in Monk's Corner. In the Cordsville community, I'm Raymond Owens. Count on two.